Hey guys, it's your girl Kara's Crystal Visions. Welcome, newbies, in betweens, and OGs. Okay, give me some that boop, cause you the dopest, and we know this. Yes, I want you guys to know that I am so grateful and thankful and appreciative for all of your love, support, all of the likes, the comments, all of the love, the understanding that you send towards me, that you give to me, it is a blessing. You guys are a blessing to me just as you see that I can be a blessing to you by helping you out in the best way that God is allowing me to. And I want you guys to know that you are amazing. It does not matter where you are in your healing journey. It does not matter where you are in your life journey. You are amazing and you're doing the best you can. Just don't give up. Keep going, baby. This lifetime is a lifetime of healing, okay? So make sure that through your healing, and while you're healing, that you're enjoying the present moment, the people, the circumstances, and the situations that bring you happiness and joy and that add to your healing, okay? So wishing you guys and always sending you guys so much love. All right, my baby. So let's see what messages Spirit has for you, okay? I don't even know what this deck is called, but haven't used it in a while, we're going to use it. All right, so let's get to it. All right. So we have infatuated love. Whether you are falling fast or it's a romantic obsession, stay grounded before you get caught in an illusion. So I'm hearing someone is infatuated with you. Oh my God, absolutely. Whether you know this or not, I am truly hearing from afar. So someone's watching you online, at your job, um, when you do your day-to-day, -day, could be a neighbor, but someone's definitely infatuated with you. Okay, let's get some more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's because you're different. Okay, it says opposites attract. Someone may enter your life who's very different from you. You will complement each other. Yeah, they feel like you are the missing piece to their puzzle. They feel like you're the perfect person for them and they already are in love with you or this is infatuation. This person has already fantasized who you are in their mind, even if you are not that type of person, okay? For some of you and for others of you, this person has been watching you and they know exactly who you are by what you present and they love it. They feel like you are the yin to their yang, they feel like you have a special uniqueness about you and they're in love with it. Whatever quirkiness you have or weirdness or how different you are in whatever way, this person is like, I am so in love with it. <laughs> how beautiful. Oh, let's get some more. Okay. We have, yes, I like this. Mature relationship. Whether you're older or not, this union will be forced on companionship, support, dependability, and love. I'm sorry, not forced, focused, okay? So this person mature. Ooh, listen, for some of y'all, y'all dealing with this person. This person is head over heels, infatuated with you. Deep love, okay? Um, I feel like it's infatuation because this person doesn't know you well enough yet, but... If this is someone new that you're getting to know, oh, it's going to turn into such deep love. Oh, my God. They can't get enough of you. Mm -hmm. They feel like you are dependable. You are supportive. They are truly connected deeply, I'm hearing, with you. And even the chemistry y'all have, the sexual chemistry y'all have. Ooh. Wow. Okay. Let's get some more. Mm -hmm. Let's move this over. Okay. Yes, self-love. I see why. Okay. As you love yourself, 
It makes other people respect you. It makes other people also fall in love with you. It's that energy, baby. You must find happiness within yourself before you're able to find it with someone. You are enough. And they love this about you, okay? You have so much self-love when it comes to you, when it comes to your boundaries, when it comes to what you are not going to put up with, when it comes to what you assertively demand, when it comes to a relationship. This person knows that if they come to you incorrectly or try some sly or slick shit, you will not hesitate to cut this person off. If you are with this person, this person knows that you do not play around, okay? You say what you mean and you mean what you say and you give what you expect people to give back to you. Oh, this person's in love. I'm hearing, this is love, la la la. <laughs> Let me move that back over here because I got to put some more car spirits and get another one. Yeah, this person is in love with you because you're in love with you. This person loves the fact that you don't need no one. You want someone. This person loves the fact that you are very mature. You don't want no drama because you don't bring no drama. Okay, love it. I love it. One more. And we have... Into the unknown, you must proceed without knowing what the future holds. Conquer your fear of the unknown. You are definitely something, I'm hearing, untreaded territory. You're something new for this person. They've never came across someone like you. Your energy, how you speak, the confidence, right? How strong and independent you are, how I'm hearing determined you are to truly reach your full potential in every aspect of your being, of your life. Like this person is, is fearful because they don't really know how you feel about them, but they are head over heels in love with you. Like they want to come to you correct, right? Because they don't want you to think of them like, trying to enter your world because they want something out of you. No, this person has been, you know, sexually absent and they've been truly healing and working on themselves slowly but surely. And they know like something inside of them just knows you are their soulmate and they want you for the long haul. Like they are blocking out any energy that would be like codependent on them or um, any energy that would stir up any wounds in them. Like you are a healed, high vibrating, beautiful divine being. And they want to give you a call or y'all have a lot of beautiful conversations if you are talking to this person and they love it. You uplift them, you inspire them. You are their muse, their inspiration. You are what they've always wanted in a partner, whether they're watching you from afar or you're dealing with this person. I feel like in the past, they had a lot of codependent energies that would pretty much string them along or give them mixed signals that they thought that was their wish fulfillment. But you, you are completely something out of the norm, out of the box for them, and they're willing to take a chance on you, okay? Okay. If you don't know how this person is feeling and you're newly getting to know this person, this is how this person feels about you, okay? Spirit says one more. We're going to get one more, y'all, okay? So this is, we have Rocky Star. Rocky Stars can lead to happy endings. You'll have a decision or you'll have to decide if it's worth the fight. The choice will be yours. So Spirit is saying, like, I feel like the rocky start may be because you're healing, you've been through the most, and you're just not sure of this person's intentions at first. But this person is going to take that leap of faith and reassure you that they respect your boundaries, they respect you in, as a whole, and they respect your opinion and who you are and what you bring, like... This is not those fickle-minded, non-committal, toxic 
exes that you've been dealing with. This is someone that's mature, someone that is ready, someone that has been getting their life together, someone that has been getting their internal world together is what I'm hearing, okay? I feel like you are dealing with a lot of devils in disguise, right? Someone that may appear like an angel, but has hidden motives and agendas. No, this person has pure intentions for you. Um, but they just pray that you would give them a chance if they do step into the unknown with you. Um, you could be stepping into the unknown with this new person and, you know, it may be a little rocky because you're hesitant. You just don't know. You're scared and it's okay. Take the leap of faith anyway, okay? Normally things that we fear always come out to be in our favor in the end, Spirit is saying. So what we're going to do is get um, some feelings of this person. How do they feel? Yes, they're infatuated. <laughs> yes, they feel like you are so unique, gifted. Um, I'm hearing extraterrestrial for some of you guys. Um, they love that you do not settle. Not only that, you are hella resilient. They love it. They love it. Okay, so let's get some of how they are feeling. Let's see. So this is someone that wants to spend the holidays with you. Look, Christmas is coming up. Or you could be spending Christmas with this person. And they're content with you. You it for them. Like, they want you to kick your feet up, and they're going to reassure you, like, you ain't going nowhere, okay? You with me. And if this person has been watching from afar, they're going to come forth on or near Christmas. And you're going to be content with what they have to say or the deep conversation that you guys will have. Beautiful. Let's see. This person also could live in the mountains where it's cold, um, where it's sunny a lot as well, Spirit is saying, because we have sandals on. So where it always is hot, like maybe California, Texas, or Florida. Um, let's talk, coffee or tea, yeah. They're going to want to meet up near the holidays, or it could be Thanksgiving as well, Spirit is saying. So it could be Christmas or Thanksgiving when it comes to the holidays, because they know that they will be so so satisfied with you, okay? Um, if you're dealing with this person, this person <clears throat> can't wait for you to meet their family on the holidays um, because their family has been asking, like, what's the tea? Who you dating? Who you talking to? Who are you into? And this person has been talking about you. So on the holidays, their family is going to see how happy you make them or how happy you would make them, okay? So I'm hearing maybe during the holidays, right? You're going to suspiciously, auspiciously, serendipitously, or coincidentally, Spirit is saying, run into this person, okay? For some of you, you know this person. For others of you, you don't. And when I say know this person, like you'll be like, oh, hey, I haven't seen you for a while type of no, like, but you don't really know, know this person. And for others of you, um, you're with this person, okay? Point in cases, the family want to know what's going on with their uh, brother, sister, um, son or daughter, okay? Um, niece, nephew, because they've been smiling. They have been giddy. They have been showing your picture. They know that they would be so content and happy with you. And they really want you to meet their family. But they also want to spend a lot of time with you on the holidays they are going to get you a gift for some they're going to propose yes that is the tea as well and uh let's see what else okay so this person um, um you're not even with this person they are already claiming you boo boo and when they're watching you or stalking you on social media they in the morning time they got their cup of coffee they got their tea and they just scrolling just infatuated in love, <laughs> admiring. <laughs> you motivate this person as well. But the family want to know, you know, who is this man or woman that has my son or daughter, niece, nephew, um, brother, sister, cousin, so infatuated. It's you, boo-boo. It's you. <laughs> Let's see how else they feel. 
What? Um, so listen, your person is not going to stop staring at you, not going to stop complimenting you, having their hands all over you. Like, oh, they think you are so gorgeous or so handsome, like they can't believe they got someone like you, right? And you're gonna turn around as you catch this person staring at you, and you're gonna be like, what? Why are you staring at me? Mm. And they're gonna be like, cause you're so beautiful, or you're so handsome, because, because I love you. It's gonna shock you if you never heard them say that. Let's see what else. So, yep, it says let's get married. Yep, I told you some of you guys are going to get proposed to on the holidays and the family already know. They already in it. They can't wait to meet you. They can't wait to, you know, pick your brain, get to know who you are. Like from what their person, right, son, daughter, cousin, um, whatever um, they are to this family. Um, they have been pretty much, you know, giving them the scoop on you, what you do for work, how you are, how you look. And the family is impressed, baby. They're impressed. Um, happily ever after, okay? They feel like you would be good for their son, daughter, cousin, you know, um, brother, sister, okay? I feel like their family is really happy for them because they've been through a lot of betrayal, okay? And the more, coming back to your person, the more you love yourself, the more you take up for yourself, the more you tell them how you want to be treated, the more assertive you are in such a loving and very gentle way, this person, it makes them want to marry you. It makes them fall deeper in love with you. We have patience. Yeah, they have a lot of patience for you. Okay. And they know they have to be patient, not only with you because you know this is something new to you for some of you guys you've never been in a really healthy mature relationship so this is something that you have to get used to and them as well they have never been in a really mature stable loving giving family dynamic like they are so used to a dysfunctional type of family right so that's another reason why and spirit is saying i didn't want to say that in the beginning but i'm gonna say it even though this person wants you to meet their family and friends, they know that their family has certain dysfunctions that they are scared of, you know, you, I guess, finding out or, you know, pretty much observing for yourself when you meet these people, right? So they're going to have a prep talk, you know, like, listen, my family a little crazy, but don't worry about it. <laughs> Just have patience, you know what I'm saying? Um, but they also are going to have a lot of patience going slow, steady, understanding, a lot of support when it comes to, you know, making their move to you, towards you, right? When it comes to starting something new with you, this is completely different for them. This person has never really experienced true love. Okay. Like I said, neither have you. And this is something that is being given to them and given to you. So spirit is telling both of you to have patience because you will marry this person. Oh yes. And this person is going to give you everything you need to be content in this relationship, emotionally, financially, physically, you feel me? Okay. And this person loves the fact that you are interdependent. Like, I feel like in the past, this person used to have so many women or men that were codependent on them because they have an independent um, energy, right? And they are a go-getter, right? They are um, very well off when it comes to their finances or they're a very hard worker, all right? They are not a slacker and they're very responsible. So um, women or men tend to try to use them to uh, be their leaning post, Okay to the gold digging and all that shit, right? So let's get some more. They're nervous. Oh, it's so cute. They're 
nervous. You make them nervous. But also, you are going to be nervous, right? Right under Rocky Start. The only reason why it's going to be a Rocky Start because both of y'all nervous. First of all, I feel like both of y'all are each other's dream. Like what you truly like to the T ask God for. It may be, you know, a couple things missing, but I would say 80 to 90% of what you've asked for out of a love partner, relationship, marriage, this is what this person is. And I feel like when both of y'all start to talk and get to know each other, or this is what's happening now, you do have to have a lot of patience because both of y'all have been through it. So you're like, and they're like, is this real? Is this person really mature? Are they putting on a facade? Are we just too different? You know, is this only infatuation or is this real love? Will I be content? Will I, you know, mesh well with his family and friends or her family and friends? You know, will this end in marriage? Am I wasting my time? Should I love myself? Should I, you know, just be by myself right now? Like, all of these questions are going to swirl through both of you guys' head. But Spirit is saying, free your mind of that, okay? This person really does love you, okay? We want to get some more. Or they will love you if this person is coming in. Yeah, I try to tell you. They talk about you to their family, their friends. They're raving about how in love they are. Particularly not that, but how... You know, they feel as though you're beautiful or handsome. They want to get to know you. Um, if they're with you, how lucky they feel. They hit the jackpot. Uh, God has blessed them. Like, oh, I'm so nervous. I'm about to propose on Christmas. Bro assists, like, how should I do it? Where should I take them? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, but I know that this person is my forever after, you know, happily ever after. I've been patient, patient. And God finally brought this person to me. They are exactly what i need but completely the opposite so we balance each other out they gossiping they gossiping okay bringing up everything let's see what else yep they're reminiscing on like the past so they're like shit i just pray god please god don't let this be a reoccurrence of the past like i am done with that i have changed i have transformed i have cleared my karma let this woman or man, you know, be my person so that I can just build with them, continue to focus on the business or my job. If they have children, if you know, family, friends, and just having a really good life, okay? I feel like this person is just missing a companion, and you are the perfect match, right? They are clear-headed about how they feel. It's no confusion. They know that they are infatuated with you or in love with you, okay? It's no mistakes about it. And I feel like their friends, co-workers, or family members feel like they are too. They want to meet you. They're like, who are you? Like, you're gorgeous. You're handsome. You're everything. I can't wait to see this in person. That's what the family's saying. Okay? They saying some other sexual stuff, but I'm not going to go into that, y'all. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to tell you the family's stalking you, the friends stalking you, they stalking you. So you may feel like someone is gang stalking you, but that's not the, that's not the issue. Spirit is saying, Spirit is saying it's just this person's friends, family, co like everybody watching you. If you are a, a influencer, if you have a YouTube, if you have a TikTok, if you have a Facebook, if you have an Instagram, if you um, do something on social media, or you're just on social media regularly posting about your life and what you do and you know, what you do for work, or you're just sharing motivational quotes or whatever you do. All these people watching you. <laughs> yep. They feel like you're very spiritual, very spiritual. They love the way you think, the way you talk. They love your outlook um, on certain circumstances and situations. They see you on your spiritual journey. And that's why they feel like you would really be a good fit for their son or daughter. Is what I truly heard. Um, it's because you would bring the light to their son, daughter, brother, sister, whoever your person or this person is to them, to their life. Because I feel like this person, man, they've been through a lot. They've been whew, stolen from. They have been beguiled, tricked. This person has been in the street life. 
this person has been used by Jezebel energy, black magic. <laughs> like this person has had mad people evil eye them continuously. It's they're pretty much doing it now. These people that um, do not like this person that is in love with you. Um, they feel like you are a powerhouse. You, your spirituality um, and the beings that protect you are just massively powerful. And if you would get with their brother, sister, uncle, uh, whoever this person is to their family members, you would be able to protect them. They would protect you. Like you would be a great influence on this person is what I'm truly hearing because they need it. Okay. Um, also the family on the flip side, you do have the family members that do not trust you. Okay. They feel like whatever you believe in for some of you, it could be demonic. It's negative. Like, cause these are the more religious people, but crazy part is you're religious, but you're judging someone else. Yeah. Anyway, plenty of cases is that, um, it's either that spirit is saying, or they're, oh, I'm just hearing, okay, okay, okay. They said it's not the fact that we're judging, and it's not the fact that we don't like you, collective. It's the fact that we just want the best for our, you know, their person, whoever this is, brother, sister, you know, son, daughter, um, aunt, uncle, okay? And they just want to make sure that you really have... Um, this person's best interests at heart because this person is a selfless person and they will give you the shirt off their back, the last dime in their bank account. They know how this person is, their family. So they want to make sure that, you know, you won't take advantage of them. Okay. They just don't know who you are, but they're going to trust the process. And spirit is also telling you to trust the process and this person is going to trust the process, okay? They may even write you some type of poetry and give you roses on the first day of how they fell in love with you. For some, it's love at first sight, okay? And for others of you, it's just over time. Get one more. I cannot make this up. Love at first sight, love struck, okay? The first time they saw you, talked to you, engaged with you, or just found you, they fell in love with you. Love struck. And during the holidays, they're going to send for you if they are at a far in a completely different city, country, or they're going to come towards you. And they want to get a room. They want to have some alone time with you before you meet their family or friends. Or if they're long distance, they want to send for you during the holidays. First, they want to spend time with you before meeting the family, like getting you prepped. <laughs> and then after that, you know, y'all going to have a, a fun time because I feel like strongly this could be a long distance. But even if it's not like they want to invite you over their home. Like if this is not a hotel, they want to invite you over to their home and they want to spend time with you, okay? Um, if you're single, Spirit is saying be open to this because this is a good option, all right? If you're already with this person, then, you know, they're, they're going to pretty much send for you if you've been talking long distance or they're going to ask you to spend a week with them for the holidays, okay? And that's going to include family, um, yeah, as I split the deck, we have home. They're going to invite you to their home. Maybe you've never been to their home before, or maybe you never spent the night at their home. Y'all live in two separate homes. Um, eventually, this person is going to want to get one home together. Um, but like I said, if it's long distance, they're going to send for you, send you money so you can catch a flight out to them, or they're going to catch a flight to you. Um, they also want to meet your friends and family as well. So... Um, that may be another holiday spirit is saying. So for Christmas, they just want you to meet theirs. And then for if this goes well and y'all kick it off, you know what I'm saying? Remember, it's going to be a rocky start. So just get past that. And it's going to be a happy ending, spirit is saying. Just continue to love yourself. Continue to um, be understanding. State your point and purpose. Observe. You know, adhere the red flags. Tell them, you know, what you truly expect all right and you know go with the flow stay in the present moment and have fun 
and things will unfold naturally, Spirit is saying, okay? Um, why is reminiscing here? But I feel like that's reminiscing about their past. So why is reminiscing here? Yeah, like in the past, they were hurt. They were taken advantage of. They were stolen from. And they're like, why me? And this was people that cloaked themselves um, as supporters of theirs, as true friends and family of theirs. And um, they hid from them. But, you know, spirit and over time, they wound up pretty much... Um, Revealing these people now for some of your persons. They don't know who this person is This person is still cloaked and they're still dealing with this person Okay, so just be aware that someone that is in their friend group family an ex-partner of something um, When they connect with you and they see that this person is happy. They may try to Intrude on your relationship. So just be careful because this is a new beginning. Okay, new beginnings Let's start over. Okay, so this person definitely wants to start over, but they do reminisce about the past, but they're not trying to allow their past, that fear, to consume them, to not, you know, take a leap of faith towards something that is completely out of the norm for them. So maybe they're used to dealing with, you know, um, superficial women and men, okay, that they thought that they could have a deep relationship with, but they realize that there is no depth in superficiality. So they rather start off and over with you because you do have depth. You are not superficial. And on top of that, you're gorgeous or handsome. You're very intelligent. You have a lot to bring to the table. So they want to start over with you. Just be careful of someone that is highly jealous of them. And they're like, why can't it be me? Why does, you know, whoever this person is that's infatuated with you, why do they get the true love of their life? It's just some bullshit. This person is stalking you too. Because I feel like this person that is jealous of you now, because this is the person that's sending you evil eye, that's telling this person, ooh, they might have told this person don't trust you, but, this, but there's something in this person's energy. And I feel like it's their ancestors, their intuition is telling them, fuck this person and go after you. But this person is so miserable at the fact that they can't find true love and that their friend or their brother, their sister, whatever this person is to them, has. And you are it. All right? You are single or you're dealing with this person. You may know who this cloaked person is because you're intuitive. You have gifts, so you might have told this person, like, I think your friend or your sister or your brother or your mom or whoever do not like me for no reason. And they could be doing black magic, sending you evil eye, doing the most for this person not to have a new start, but it's going to happen regardless. And this person that has been doing the black magic or evil eye is going to retract back onto them and their life is going to get even worse as their friend disconnects from them or whoever this is, family member, ex-lover, whatever, disconnects from them and moves on happily with you yes okay they are stalking the shit out of you whoever this person is you have stalking at the bottom amongst all everybody else that's stalking you but the real heavy energy is coming from whoever this person is it is some heavy energy from the family because they just don't know your intentions but the more they appear into your life through social media they see that you are a really good person but this person, whoever this friend is that was getting over on this person that want to deal with you, they, they not having it, okay? Maybe they party with this person. They was getting whatever they wanted out of this person. And now this person is putting all their energy towards you or wanting to put all their energy towards you. And this friend is like, or this um, ex-lover, maybe they're friends. Or maybe they have children with this person. Um, or a family member. They like, uh, they not having it. They don't want it, Okay. Damn, as soon as I split the deck, it says third party issues, kids, parents, work. I cannot make this up, y'all. So you may be privy to whoever this person is, because like I said, you're very intuitive or you're going to be privy to it. But Spirit is saying, don't worry, you're protected and so is your person. The more that this person evil eyes or does black magic on you, your relationship, your love life or this person's love life and relationship the more it'll backfire onto them. So don't you worry, babies, okay? But yeah, you have a mature, um, really beautiful relationship coming in with someone of the opposite sex that is hell over heels. Remember, it's going to be rocky only because both of y'all have been through so much. 
So if y'all just be patient with each other and understand that it's going to take time for you guys to get to know each other, this could really end in a happily ever after, which I want for you guys. The family is very anticipating on meeting you. Um, they may be a little standoffish, but as you just talk to them and, you know, be yourself around them, they will... All their defenses I'm hearing will come down and they're going to fall in love with you. Just like this person has fallen in love with you. Wait, Marty. We got to get some initials, okay? Of who this person is, especially if you are single and not dealing with anyone, okay? So intuitively, I'm getting that this person, of course, it could be a man or woman. Um, they have a defined jawline. Or they could have, you know, a heavy jawline. So I'm picking up some men that are hefty and then some men that are really well built because they go to the gym, right? Then you have women that are slender and then you have a slim, thick type of woman, right? Some of these women and men have dark hair, blonde hair. They color their hair. Um, they have a beard, not a full beard, but more so like, you know, a tapered beard or they have a goatee, or some do have a full beard, all right? I'm getting fair skinned or caramel skin. I'm also getting dark skin. Um, I'm getting someone that uh, wears contacts, someone that has a beautiful smile, um, full lips, man or woman, someone that knows how to dress, but they also love to dress in more comfortable wear. So you'll see them more so in comfortable wear, but when they go out, they dress to the T, baby. Okay, someone that's going to give you or have been giving you flowers. All right, someone that you follow on social media or that follows you. Um, someone that has a motorcycle, because that's exactly what I heard in the background, but also on this freedom card at the bottom of the deck. Hold up. Someone is on a motorcycle. So someone can have a motorcycle or drive, you know, fast cars or into cars. All right. All right. So now let's get to the initials of who this person is. We're going to get a lot because it's a lot of my babies. Okay. Let's back this up a little bit, a little bit, a lot of bit. So we have P, S, J, D, and X, G, M. O, C, T, I'm hearing match, M, A, T, C, and what we don't have here is an H, yeah, they a perfect match, Spirit is saying, um, E, D, E, another G, E, you make this person giddy, excited. Z, this person wants to have date naps with you. Like, you know, y'all watch movies and fall asleep in each other's arms. V, Y. Oh my gosh, I can't pick these different nails. <laughs> F, N, Y, S, Y, Q U E I K and V. Now, this could be the initials of this person, and also whoever this person is that is really hating. Did Black Magic Evil Eye on um, your person? Um, now is targeting you because your person has their eye on you, or you're dealing with um, this person. Um, this person, <laughs> I'm hearing daddy. Oh, um, this person is going to, um, I'm hearing make your life easy. I'm seeing easy. I'm this person could be a daddy. Could be a really good father. Or mother, because I did, when I did the M, I don't know. And oh, I, I thought it was going to say M-O-M, -M, mom. So this could be a mother. But that is the initials. Okay, if you see any other words, you know, put them in the comments below, please. And that is the reading, babes. All right, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell button so you know when you go posted. I love y'all to life. You deserve this. And don't let this stinking ass friend, family member, or ex ruin it.
Okay, y'all be patient with each other and enjoy the spiritual journey of coming together or if you're already with this person. I love you to life. Bye.